in the United States, the most comparable model that Ford have to compete against Tesla's 4680 battery celled Model Y all wheel drive standard range is actually the Ford Mustang Mach-E Route 1 ER. That has 18 inch wheels, one inch smaller than the Model Y, but the range is very similar. It has a range of 270 miles or nine miles less than the Model Y, but it costs, well, 8,000 US dollars more. If you actually include the incentives, the price completely changes. It then becomes a proposition of costing nearly $12,000 more than the Model Y. Boy, oh boy, what are Ford gonna do? The price now between the Model Y and the Mach-E, when you compare them spec for spec, is seven to 17,000 US dollars. What on earth can Ford possibly do now that the Tesla juggernaut has is, is arrived and it's being helped by the IRA? Now, what I'm about to share with you shows the almost impossible position that Ford dealers are in. I, I really feel sorry for them, I really do. But it's far worse for European Ford dealers who are up Poo Poo Creek. I mean, really, you're talking 20,000 euros difference between an equivalent Model Y versus the equivalent Mustang Mach-E, 20,000 euros. Now, getting back to the US, we now have an official price for the Mustang Mach-E and the Tesla Model Y. The dust has officially settled. Now, the Tesla Model Y is much, much cheaper than the equivalent Ford Mustang Mach-E. In fact, the price difference is bigger than what anyone expected. Now that the Mach-E no longer qualifies for the full IRA incentives. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking, great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. I think there's about 8,000 new subscribers over the past few weeks. Welcome to all of you. We've done about 3,000 videos over the past two years which is more than any other channel, primarily about electric cars, electric batteries, and the future of the automotive industry. This year, Ford has struggled massively with its electric car sales. Yes, they're an increase, sort of, versus the first quarter of last year, but the truth is Ford is losing market share. It sold around 10,000 electric cars for the first quarter of the year. I mean, it's not very many really, is it? When you think about it, it's only around 3,000 400 per month compared to say General Motors who sold double that number. Obviously Tesla sold a lot more than that. And you can see why. The Model Y now, considering the current price, it's a bargain. Ford, I don't know what they're gonna do about this because they're already losing money on the Mach-E. How can they compete with this now? The standard range Model Y, right? Costs 50,000 US dollars. But the equivalent Ford Mustang Mach-E costs a lot more. I mean, the price is quite staggering in terms of the difference. So to make it clear, so you fully understand what I'm talking about, the Ford Mustang Mach-E no longer qualifies for the full tax credit because the battery pack doesn't come from North America. However, that means it's lost $3,750, but it still qualifies for a $3,750 incentive. Whereas all Tesla Model Y vehicles have their batteries and the entire car, everything is sourced from North America. So the Tesla Model Y still gets the 7,500 credit, meaning $3,750 is in the favor of the Tesla versus the Ford before we even get started looking at these prices. So to give you a quick rundown, the Ford Mustang Mach-E in its cheapest variant, standard range, rear wheel drive with 18 inch wheels costs 46,000 US dollars. Now looking at the specifications of that car, it doesn't closely align with Tesla's cheapest Model Y. Why? Because Tesla's cheapest Model Y has a 280 mile range. The standard range Mach-E has a 247 mile range and it's rear wheel drive only. So the Tesla is all wheel drive. The closest variant to Tesla's base, the cheapest Model Y, the standard range version that comes with 4680 battery cells on a range of 280 miles is the Ford Mustang Mach-E premium standard range all wheel drive with 19 inch wheels. That model costs 54,000 US dollars. 
And well, to be fair, it's definitely not as good in a few key areas as the $50,000 Model Y. Now, because the Model Y gets the full tax incentive, $42,500 is going to be your drive away price. If your Ford dealer is willing to sell it to you at MSRP, which maybe they would right now, there's probably not as much demand as normal at the moment. I'm going to say they probably will. That would mean you'll be paying $50,250 meaning that Tesla Model Y is exactly $7,000 US dollars cheaper than the equivalent Ford Mustang Mach-E. $7,000. But, well, it doesn't end there. It's actually worse for the Mach-E than what it sounds. You know, the biggest publications in the US is the fact that the interior space of the Mach-E is massively different to the Model Y. Model Y has far more interior space, even though the Mach-E is actually dimensionally the bigger car on the ex exterior. It all comes down to the packaging of the vehicles. And that's one of the big advantages that people focus on. If you want a crossover, an interior space is a priority for you. It's not even a question here. You basically have to go for the Model Y. If that doesn't matter to you though, another thing worth considering could be range. So what is the range comparison? Model Y, 280 miles. Mackie, 224 miles. That's nearly 60 miles different, nearly 100 kilometers different in range. It's a massive difference. For me, it's not even a question. Considering the reality here, the Tesla's infotainment system is, is significantly better. Uh, Autopilot is unquestionably better than the, the version of automated driving software that assisted driving software that Ford has. It's very, very clear here that the Tesla easily wins this comparison and it's 7,000 US dollars cheaper. I think Ford will have a very tough sell on their hands. They have no choice here but to reduce prices in order to sell these cars. However, can they do that? I mean, they have admitted that you, they're losing $20,000 per car. Now, I'm going to guess the majority of that, those big losses are coming from trucks, F-150 Lightnings. Maybe with the Mackie, they're losing, I don't know, 15000 US dollars. So if they reduce the price, it just comes off Ford's bottom line. Now, considering the fact that Ford lost money last year and therefore it actually reduced the amount of money it's paying its executives. It pretty much said, to, Jim Farley pretty much said to his, their executives, you guys didn't perform, I'm reducing what we're paying you. That's realistically what they said. Automotive News reported that that happened. Uh, Jim Farley has reported he's extremely dissatisfied with the performance of many people within Ford, Ford Motor Company. Uh, and he's really trying to light a fire up, the, up their butts. Now this is a big challenge for them though. I mean, what can they do here? What can they do? to solve this challenge. There's nothing they can do. There's, there's nothing you can do. Now, what about the next version? The Tesla Model Y Long Range. The closest car that Ford sell to the Tesla Model Y Long Range is the Mach-E Premium Extended Range Rear-Wheel Drive. That has 310 miles of range. So it only has 20 miles less range than the equivalent Tesla Model Y Long Range. Now, the Model Y Long Range is 53,000 US dollars before the incentive. Add the incentive on you're looking at a price of 45,500 US for the Model Y long range. The Ford is $58,000, remove the 3,750 tax credit, and it's $54,250, meaning the Tesla here is $9,000 cheaper. 9,000. And like I said, it still has 20 miles more range. Um, a lot of people would consider it the better vehicle in terms of the overall pros and cons of the car regardless. So you're looking at a $7,000 discount for the base version, $9,000 for the long range version. What about the performance models? Well, actually they're very similar in terms of legit performance specs. They both do pretty similar, zero to 62 miles an hour. Tesla Model Y is 3.6 seconds. Ford Mustang Mach-E is 3.5 seconds for the GT Performance Edition extended range all wheel drive with 20 inch wheels, very similar wheel sizes, everything's very similar. However, the Mach-E is 70,000 US dollars. The equivalent Tesla is $57,000. It's already $13,000 cheaper. So, I mean, the price difference here is even worse. I mean, this means the Model Y performance is an absolute bargain. It's, it's 50,000 US dollars, right? Meaning it's nearly $17,000 cheaper than the equivalent Mach-E. They are very similarly spec. They've got the same wheel size, right? What about actual mileage? Well, the Model Y Performance has 303 miles of range. 
The Mac E GT performance has 260 miles of range, meaning it has 43 miles less range. I mean, that's about 70 kilometers less range. And it's $17,000 more. So what are the price differences here, right? We're looking at a difference in price of $6,000, $7,000 and $17,000 respectively for the three most equivalent. I've, I've compared them as fairly as possible. It's probably, if anything, an unfavorable comparison for Tesla because realistically, there's a lot of standard features on the Tesla that you don't get stand on the Ford that I haven't mentioned here. There's, what's the point of mentioning them, to be honest? Realistically, I don't see how anyone here in the US has a choice right now. If you go, if you go and buy a Ford, you're paying a lot more money for a car with significantly less range for every single model that's comparable to the Tesla Model Y. I'm gonna sound like a Tesla shill here. People think I'm just this big Tesla fan, but my friends, these are the facts. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. How will Ford go? I mean, are they gonna, surely they're gonna struggle a little bit to sell the Mach-E this year. I think Ford are gonna say it's our production. We're not making enough Mach-E's. That's the reason they're not selling. I think if you actually look at what I'm saying in this video and you really consider these facts, the price difference now is astronomical. And that's the reason why Ford will have massive problems selling Mackeys in the US this year. Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Bye-bye.